on the series of pulling down strongholds pulling down strongholds and we've been dealing with the stronghold of rejection we dealt with the stronghold of rejection and um today i want us to and i think we also dealt with a stronghold of um powers that blocks people from getting breakthroughs in their relationships um today we want to look at the strongholds of addiction the stronghold of addictions that is plaguing and destroying many destinies you cannot serve the lord effectively if you are bound by destructive compulsive addiction you cannot really serve the lord well why because anytime you take some two steps forward in getting closer with intimacy with god a destructive addiction will bring you 10 steps backwards and therefore it will keep you from having a healthy relationship with jesus and there are so many people who are struggling in their christianity because they are bound and held in bondage there's a stronghold of addiction that is always causing them to retrograde to go backwards backwards to backslide in their journey of christianity somebody is doing everything possible to live a righteous life but if they still have the stronghold of addiction to masturbation and pornography it will always cause them to become filthy and therefore disconnect them from the presence of god and bring them backwards and then they feel sorry and then they have to repent and then they have to start all over again so they make some progress only to be brought backwards again and this is how the enemy is holding so many people in bondage and in captivity when you don't also address this addiction some of them can lead you to hell some addictions can lead you to hell because definitely you can't be in adultery in fornication in contaminating yourself with pornography masturbation and all these things it, and make it to the kingdom so the devil is a liar this issue is not just about you but it's about you it's also you breaking the stronghold so you can make it to heaven so that you can have a healthy relationship with jesus christ so that you can grow in the faith because destructive addictions has a way of causing you to be spiritual midget a spiritual dwarf it places a ceiling and a cap on your spiritual growth so it doesn't matter how many years you've been born again you've been a christian if you have a, a destructive compulsive addiction that contaminates you it will keep you as a babe in the feet and then we have people also who just came in yesterday and they are making tremendous growth in the faith and therefore it is very important that we address these strongholds and ask the lord to deliver us ask the lord to set us free each every one of us has areas in our lives that we are having difficulties breaking out of and we want to submit and yield that area to god to help us we need god to help us overcome we need god to help us first you have to own it that i i need help i need help with sweet so i need help some of you need help with the way you spend money there is a compulsive spending demon that is always causing you to just 
every dime you make you spend it every dime every money that comes into your hands something will force you to spend that money and then after that you come and say i'm broke you are not broke you just don't know how to spend there is a spirit that is always causing you to be spending. And so you need deliverance. Some are addicted to alcohol. In fact, some people, if they were to save all the money they were using for alcohol, they could have bought a house or a car. If they what, were saving all the money they were using on alcohol, they could have bought a car or bought a house but the devil causes them to waste all their resources on alcohol others too are addicted to smoking smoking they love the lord but they are struggling with smoking nicotine they are addicted and hooked to nicotine it's a challenge and we have people also who are hooked to drug drugs heroin weed cocaine and all sort of illegal drugs and some people have even died as a result and this drug addiction has also destroyed lives and destroyed families and destroyed marriages why is this message important because you may have to stand in the gap for a loved one. That's why I said, bring the picture of that loved one who is in, in bondage, that today your prayers will bring deliverance to them. If you don't have their fiscal picture, you may have their picture on your phone. Just pull it, and as we pray, you use it as a point of contact. Or if, even though, if you don't have their picture, anything that you have as a point of contact, have it, and as we pray, lay your hands on it and say father by my prayer have mercy on my husband and deliver him some people's spouses are bound with lust lust seriously lust they are bound with the spirit of lust one lady was so angry with her husband and she was wanting to exit out of the relationship or the marriage why because the husband could not take his eyes off other women and this woman was saying that i don't know what is wrong with my husband am i not pretty am i not beautiful am i so how come even when we go to dinner when we go to any place my husband will keep on lasting after other women in front of me in front of me i'm not saying in front of me i'm sitting here he's sitting there we are eating and this man will still be his eyes will be what flirting and lasting after other women to the point that it was embarrassing to the wife in front of the wife and embarrassing to himself because he didn't even know why he did that it was a demon of lust that has entered into his eyes and couldn't unless you are not a woman the eyes will last after you even in church the husband will be in the church ushers and other women his eyes and the wife could see it and he knew it he knew he had a problem the wife says if you don't stop this nonsense i'm divorcing you but the husband says i'm trying but trying wasn't enough the joke of last had to be broken i pray that today your prayer will bring deliverance to somebody another man you see the devil is contaminating so many men with the spirit of lust another man the lust was so bad that his own wife was having a daycare and having children and this man's day, um, last was so terrible that the wife was afraid for the kids because when she 
is diaper. Uh, she's changing the children's diapers. She could see how the man, the husband was lasting after these little children to the point that he says, Pastor, this is serious. My husband lasting after little children. It's a demon. <laughs> it has no boundaries. So when you hear that somebody has raped a young girl, raped an old woman, and raped a teenager, and you wonder, or oh, eh, this spirit is so bad, one woman, her, his, his own husband was raping his own daughters. He had twin daughters, and he was just raping them. Whilst the woman was doing evening shifts, the man was busy raping his own daughters. It's a spirit. <laughs> you, you, arguing with the man will not stop it. Fighting with the man will not stop it. Threatening divorce will not stop it. You need to pray that the Lord will deliver him. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It is the same spirit. It is the same demon that causes men to be cheating on their wives. It doesn't matter how you satisfy him in bed. It is not enough. It doesn't matter how you dress. It is not enough. It doesn't matter what you do. He needs to find another person outside of the marriage. It's a spirit. It is a spirit. Unfortunately, some people were bound with this demon of lust and have brought the spirit of lust into their marriage. And they are putting undue pressure on their wives to do ungodly things in their marital beds. The things happen in the marital, the Bible says, and the marital bed undefiled. But a person possessed with the spirit of lust, when they get married, it does, it does not solve it. They bring that demon back into the marriage and will contaminate even the wife and cause you to be like you are a prostitute and do things that prostitute do out there. Why? Because it is not enough. When people tell you what they are facing in their bedrooms, you'll be wild. And these are called so-called Christians. Why? Because the demon of lust was not dealt with. It came in. Some people think, oh, he's lasting after this woman he's laughing after this woman he's committing fornication oh so they are running away from fornication some people think by running away from fornication if they marry that spirit will leave them so they think that marriage will solve their fornicative spirit it doesn't solve it you will marry and that spirit of fornication will turn into adultery and last you will bring it back and so many marriages are marital beds are defiled one woman said, I don't know what else to do. Now my husband prefers anal sex. Anal sex. Am I a lesbian? Am I a gay? Why anal sex? Crazy. Crazy. But the spirit has possessed the man and he wants anal sex. A spirit possessed these people of last... I'm dealing with serious issues. This demon possesses people. Some people, they will only have sex with their spouses. And that sex is you licking their toes. I didn't know there's a crazy thing like that. And all sort of craziness. When you see that, please, don't just keep quiet. Pray for deliverance. Because the person is possessed with what? Last which has camouflaged into different appetites. And that's why you can't satisfy your husband. You can't. You can't. It has become so bad that some women are transforming themselves into different characters in bed just so their husband can feel like this is a different woman. Oh, I'm telling you, serious bedroom serious issues that the devil has entered and no wonder no wonder the spirit husbands are reigning no wonder spirit husbands spirit husbands 
and spirit wives are now in Christian homes. So the man is so much lasting after other women that the wife thinks that the way to appease that spirit is start to transform herself into different characters so that the man will feel as though I am having sex with different women because my wife is not enough. It is not solving the problem. You need, he needs deliverance or you need deliverance. And then if you don't deal with it, the next minute, the same spirit comes upon you and then you begin to have funny dreams. And many of these spirits had entrances. Why? Because people opened the gate. The gate. People opened the gate for the devil to come in, to infiltrate. And it's now destroying their lives. And it's causing a lot of chaos in marriages, in families, in relationships. So that is for the spirit of lust. If you don't begin to break it, it will destroy the marriage. Some women are married to their husbands but their husbands do not prefer to have any form of intimacy with them but right in front of their spouses they will prefer to be watching pornography they will prefer to what masturbate why because lust is selfish love is selfless Love is of God. Last is of the devil. So because they are possessed, I'm not saying po because a spirit, another spirit has taken over them. They just want to satisfy that spirit. It's not even your husband. The spirit that has possessed them, has taken over them, is trying to be satisfied. And that's why it's causing them to do things which are destructive to the relationship when you see that kind of thing going through your spouse's lives you need to pray i'm telling you you need to be very proactive otherwise not only is it going to destabilize and mess your marriage up it's going to bring so much confusion in your marriage and there will be transfer of spirits because he's into all this and flirting with all other women now th th there's a scripture that makes you understand that if a person has sex with other persons they become one in spirit the bible says in first corinthians chapter 18 verse 20 second first corinthians 6 18 verse 20 the bible says flee sexual immorality Flee sexual immorality. Precious one, we are in a generation whereby the devil is using sex to contaminate millions of people to take them to hell. So the devil promotes sex. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you turn, everywhere you turn, magazines, social media, news, advertisement, everything is nudity, nakedness, inappropriate dressing, to the point that they have initiated Christians into their inappropriate dressing. And the Christians are saying, it's, it's the fashion of the season, it's the new fad, it's the new fashion. Go ahead with the Antichrist spirit. To the point that for you to save yourself from this infiltrating evil spirit, you have to guard your eyes. <laughs> Recently, my wife herself came back from store, grocery store. 
and she was surprised we are heading towards summer he says you guys are really going through a lot of temptation she said i couldn't believe the kind of dressing that people were dressing outside things people have to only dress in their bedroom people are dressing that kind of bedroom dress on the outside because it's summer <laughs> and my wife says that wow may the lord really help she was a woman but she could even sense the level of perversion from other female and that's why i can only tell you to pray for your husband to pray for your fiance to pray for your son or pray for your daughter you can only pray because the level of temptation through sexual perversion has infiltrated everywhere including christians sometimes you see a person professing to be a christian and you go to their page and you see their naked body being displayed then they come and tell you deliver me from the spirit husband i say i'm not going to waste my time to deliver you from any spirit husband because even if i try to pray for you the spirit husband will never ever ever divorce you because you have opened your life and your body as an access to get in, getting in. So they are not going anywhere. You want deliverance from spirit husband. And look at how you have dressed up. Showing all your cleavages, showing all your navels, showing all your body. And you want to deliverance from what? Spirit husband, who told you this lie? It, it, it's not going to happen. You can pray all you can. You can fast all you can. After that, the spirit will come and still sleep with you. Because your inappropriate, indecent, immodest dressing is inviting. Is inviting. Is inviting the spirit to come and marry you. So who am I to come and divorce you from the spirit? When you yourself are personally through your dressing. It's inviting the spirit to come and marry you. Oh, there's a way you invite a person. You see, there is a way you can dress up and you can tell some people that this is who I am. There's a woman who will dress decently. A set, certain men dare not even approach her to make advances against her because her dressing code is indirectly speaking to you that I respect myself and therefore don't even try and come and disrespect me if you are not a gentleman there's a way a person dresses and they are saying i'm a lady and my dressing code is inviting and attracting gentlemen christian gentlemen and there's also a dress code that will tell somebody i'm here i'm available one night stand let's have fun and let's move on your dressing is speaking louder than your words for the men because of sight today all most of the social media platform i'm telling you 99.99.9 percent of it is being used for the devil i'm telling you because that's where they are opening the doors to contaminate people you can be in your house and the devil will initiate you into last pornography masturbation and perversion you are in your house why because just one click one click one click to a wrong site you have opened the door the spirit oh oh but i was just i watched it for five minutes i just watched it for one minute i just watched it for 10 minutes the spirit has entered the next minute you begin to last after it you begin to desire it you begin to find yourself doing it and you don't know where it's the, it was just the, the 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 one minute the one minute the one minute you looked at it temptation is everywhere but you have to guard your eyes your eye gate 
that even if per adventure by mistake you see it that your flesh will tell you look at it again and you tell yourself no i'm sorry to look at it the second time the spirit will jump upon me and therefore i will block myself or i will tell myself i'll not look again at that indecent dress or that naked woman don't deceive yourself oh but the devil the devil this is no devil it is you making a choice to resist the devil or to look you look at it and you look again and you convince yourself that oh but it's nothing and you keep on clicking and you keep on clicking and you keep on watching and you keep on watching and now the spirit jump on you now look at the dreams you are having i'm i'm sleeping and somebody is coming to sleep with me and i'm having how did the spirit enter ask your husband how did the spirit enter we have to be real to ourselves if we really want to walk in the light and this thing i'm telling you it doesn't matter politicians are bound by it and it's destroying them pastors are bound by it if you open the door i'm telling you a lot of men are possessed by these these spirits and that's why as a godly woman if you want to maintain and sustain a good marriage you pray for your spouse that the lord will give them the inner strength to be able to resist temptations you are not the only woman out there there are seven other women who are interested in the same man and are willing to do anything to captivate them him and therefore they will try to what entice true indecent dressing And some of you make the mistake of we are married we are couple so we can watch pornography together you 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 made a very terrible mistake you have invited the devil into your house those who those who perform pornographies do you know where they are coming from do you know the spirit that possessed them and you brought them right into your marriage so it is not about cast that demon out it's about being cautious especially with the men the man must discipline his spirit soul and body from what he watches or what he sees it is not everything that you see that you turn your head again the next time you turn you cannot resist the temptation the temptation will come sometimes you are not even aware you didn't go looking for it the person just comes to stand before you and they are half naked what do you do but the bible says flee from temptation flee flee from immorality flee run you have to be conscious to say that if i watch again and last after this woman the bible says that i'm guilty as though i've committed fornication or adultery with her so now that uh, my eyes have seen which i couldn't control now i have to tell myself i can't watch it again and therefore i turn my eyes away from it but the flesh will tell you watch again there's next time you watch again the spirit of lust is willing to transfer back to you it's a discipline sometimes some of you have, may have gone through this you will be operating on your computer and then they will release this um uh, pornographic advertisement on your computer it's like they have hacked it and it is showing up some of you are going through that attack especially if you were having last issues and you are trying to come out the devil will cause your computer to be hacked with this pornographic material and you must within a second block it if you look at it one minute just one minute the spirit will transfer and by the time you have you you think it's nothing oh i just watch it one time by the time you realize your heart begins to last after other your heart begins to your wife is not enough for you anymore so with the men it is seriously attacking them through the last and women it is attacking them through seduction 
a woman goes to the mall, goes to the store, and the spirit of lust will manipulate her. Choose this dress. It is the trending dress. Yeah, don't you see how stylish it is? Don't you see that Rihanna and, 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 and Lady Gaga or this celebrity was wearing it? Go for it. Don't you see how your calves are showing and your navels and your breast is cut? And, and the spirit is convincing them. The spirit is convincing them. That Jezebelic spirit. You remember when Jezebel was going to be killed? One of her tactics was to dress to, to seduce the guy who was about to kill him. So you go and then you, 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 you are not in control of a descent. In fact, when you see descent dresses, oh, it is too old fashioned. Because the spirit of seduction will compel you to dress in a way so that an evil spirit like the spirit of incubus sacabus will be able to see you desire you and marry you spiritually these are spiritual truths those who can take it let them take it but if you don't become spiritually responsible for what you see how did adam and eve fall eve saw the fruit it was enticing to the eyes. Please, it's not everything that is enticing to your eyes that you take. You'll be inviting the devil into your life. And it will be very it will be very difficult to get that spirit out. You see how some of you are finding it difficult to deal with the spirit husband. But sometimes they came through simple things. Simple things. Simple things you did. Simple things. How did the devil come into destroying humanity simple thing like eating a fruit simple thing eating a fruit a simple dress you take inappropriate indecent dress or wig or whatever it is and you didn't pray over it and you were not decently looking for something that was presentable and you you put it on I'm just telling you the truth. Anyone in the marine world will tell you that most of the spirits of marine kingdom that are marine women in this earth, they are manufacturing products from the marine kingdom, the city under the sea. Whether you accept it, you don't accept it, whether you believe it, you don't believe it, spiritual truth is spiritual truth. It is your responsibility to guard yourself. They have uh, so much product that they bring into this world waiting for gullible christians or humanity to patronize and then contaminate them so now you carry a possession from the marine kingdom they will possess you your fasting and prayer will not do it until you get rid of those things so we all have to be vigilant we all have to be what vigilant and you are if you are married you pray for your husband if you're a woman, please be careful, be decent, be moderate. That's all, moderation. You are an ambassador of Christ. You are the bride of Christ. So if you were going to meet Jesus in the rapture, is it the way you will present yourself? I'm not here to be zealous and overzealous Christian to tell you, don't take, put on wigs or don't put on makeup or not because in the marine kingdom they make everything they make sardine they make tooth toothpicks they make phones they make shoes they make the clothing you wear they make everything so don't zero it and narrow it narrow-minded oh it's it's the wig it's the makeup it's the distance in the marine kingdom they manufacture everything even the iphone the cell phone you are using the computer, they are manufacturing it. It's all coming from the marine kingdom to entice. That's what I'm saying. Even YouTube and Facebook, 99% is getting rich into the what? Unbelievers, pulling people to hell. So don't think that the fact that stop this religiosity of ways and this and that and that. It, 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 it's not it. Just be modest. 
most people who are the marine people are the mo the people who are wearing themselves white garments and all those things they are they are the ones more possessed as a woman the way forward is be moderate every time you dress there are people who have acne all over their body acne all over their face acne 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 so if a person who is a christian takes a makeup and and, and use the uh, makeup to do their face so as to cover the makeup how is it wrong but if you also your last or your addiction is into makeup and you spend hundreds and thousands of money into makeup and spend hours on 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 behind the mirror making and painting your face like a painter then you are your your situation is different from another woman who is using the makeup for presentation they just want to look presentable as they go but for you you are addicted to the makeup it's all about the spirit behind so a person can use makeup and go to heaven another will use makeup and go to hell it's all about what was their idol some people their idol is their wig a, pe a woman has gone through chemo she has lost her, her hair some women don't have hair they are getting out they decide to what just cover their hair to look presentable they will go to heaven you also you are addicted to peruvian uh, brazilian to this to this you spend thousands of money weekly buying different hairs because you have seen Lady Gaga, you have seen Beyonce, you have seen this person. So you are getting uh, longer and longer and longer weeks and you are addicted to it. You can't, you can't, every day you have to have a new one. Your situation is different from somebody who just goes in and gets an, a wig to come out decent. To look okay. Somebody going through chemo, coming out. You can't... <laughs> You are not the judge because one will go to heaven another will go to hell because it is the spirit behind one made one one made their hair their wig their idol while the other person wig was nothing it was just to be presentable so it is what is in your spirit one woman will go and do surgery body surgery why? Because they went to the hospital and they told them that because of this, because of this, we, mu we must do some surgery on you and help cut some flesh so that you be you look okay. Otherwise, you are going to die with your weight or whatever. Another person will also do their body surgery and go and put in breast and put in buttocks just so they look good and fashionable one is going to hell the other person is going to help him because the motives behind that surgery was different somebody did it to save their lives somebody did the surgery because they were bent so much in their face that they had to do all this facial surgery for to make them look ugly or do this surgery to lose weight or to to help to enhance their longevity their health it was health related you another person is doing surgery because they want their butt to look good so that people can last after their butt or their boobs to look it is them it is the spirit behind why you do what you do so these things it is the spirit behind but if you want to have the spirit of christ and be moderate you'll be fine so all the christian ladies have to be very careful because a lot of con contamination is coming through products product and for the men when you allow yourself to dress inappropriately even though you call yourself a christian then the spirit of the, uh, the, the the spirit of lust will cause them to last after you and then they sin and then the enemy get access so we are all to be watchful a man must watch what they see a woman must watch what they pick men deal with the issue of lust women deal with the issue of seduction the devil will recruit you you may be a christian brain but if you don't take care you can use your dressing as a weapon to entice other people to sin 
and therefore we all have to be careful we have to guide guard our eye gate some years passed for you to see nudity nakedness you would have to go to the club before you could see such today you don't have to go to the club you go to any grocery store and then they have magazines before you pay and all the magazines are celebrities who are posing naked nude naked nude nudeness 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 it is everywhere social media nudeness even some of you go on some certain um christian channels whereby they monitorize it and the advertisement is nakedness cells nudeness cells so it has become the culture but you don't have to be part of the culture otherwise you'll be contaminated and when you are contaminated it becomes difficult to receive deliverance because you are one with the spirit you are in agreement with the spirit you have allowed the spirit to come in and therefore we need to make sure that we are very careful and and when we come to the market even there are food if you buy them they will tell you uh, they will tell you men made on it or so don't limit yourself into uh makeups and hair is what is marine marine kingdom they've taken even the phone we are using do you do you know where they get the person got their intelligence from how they came up with the iphone which always trends every 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 month or so they are coming up with a new iphone and people have become addicted to it and are always buying and are always buying they, they will come up with a shoe and people will line up just to buy a jordan shoe these are all spirits to lead people astray because now they have made it their idol where is it coming from the the marine kingdom will select the the, the brightest engineers the brightest surgeons the bright everything that you are seeing on the face of the earth it is starting with in the spirit realms we have surgery surgeons who learn as to how to come up with different ways of coming up with surgery of helping people with their breasts and butter it all they do all the experiment under the sea before it, it, they begin to manifest it out here so don't limit yourself don't be judging people when you yourself you can the lotion you are using do you know where it's coming from the soap you are using where do you know where it's coming from so you can't you can't all we are saying is that be moderate be moderate have the fear of god enough to tell yourself as a christian i must be decent moderate and cover up myself and not allow myself to be naked out there some of you somebody will go into your social media platform and see your pictures and they'll have a question mark oh this woman is so spiritual but you watch their pictures they've posted on their social media platform and you wonder is it the same woman they are, they are dressing and their personality and therefore it doesn't matter how you are praying right now there's a picture you have posted which is uh, which exposes you so every spirit that is working on the social media platform sees that spirit and is able to have access to you. So you don't understand why you are praying, you are praying, you are praying. A woman came around, I need deliverance from this, I need deliverance from this. Checking from her profile pictures, nakedness, half naked, half naked, half naked, nudity. And the Holy Spirit says, you see why these demons can never live here. Because you, every spirit in the internet, every spirit once they see that picture they will that they will visit her why because she has placed the picture there so any spirit that sees her can always have access some of you that's what you've done you have pictures which are so indecent that it attracts this fallen spirit to come and last after you and to marry you they don't really marry you but they are having courtship with you there are spirit husbands that marry you and stay with you and there are others too who just come in to have sex with you and they go away so you see them periodically you see them periodically sometimes you can go for a month and you don't have any wet dreams or bad dreams and then once a while this spirit will come in why because they are not and they just come around 
have sex with you and go. And there are people too who are constantly because that spirit is married to you. So they feel they can have access as often as they can. You must watch and pray. This is a truth you don't want to hear. But this is the truth that will make you free. This is the truth you don't want to hear. But this is the truth you must know and know how to stand in the gap for your husband or stand in the gap for your daughters and your sons and teach them to, to be careful. Look at the kind of temptation you and I are going through, even with adults. Their own parents, their fathers are lasting into pornography. And must, if you, your husband is into pornography, masturbation and lasting, can you imagine the children? The kind of attacks our kids are going through. Today, you give your child access to your phone if they go to the um, to YouTube. Do you know how the world of immorality is open to them? A parent came home to find a condom in their bathroom. Mom and dad started fighting. Mom was suspicious. Who brought this condom? Does that mean my husband? Went to get, oh, no, no, the husband saw it. So, my wife is cheating on me. How did this condom get into this um, bathroom? Because we don't use it. Okay, so my wife. And then the wife, the husband said, Come and see this. So, this is what you've been doing. I have no idea about this thing. And the wife says, that, Please, I've lived with you for this number of years. Have you ever seen me cheat on you? But it's, so how did this condom get here? Don't, don't tell me rubbish. This is what you are doing. And now God has exposed you. The husband, the wife tried to convince the husband. Later on, the, the, mom, the, the, the mother said, hey, let me, let me talk to this boy. He called his boy who was less than 10 years. Do you know anything about this? He began to put pressure on the boy. And the boy owned up. Yes, I'm the one who brought the condom into the house. I forgot and I left it in the bathroom. A 10-year-old boy. I'm telling, I'm telling you a true story. They may, the parents may be listening, but I'm not going to. But I'm just citing an example that even the children are under attack. That's why if your son or daughter has access to phone, periodically you must check and go to history and find out what they are watching. Because once this spirit enters into them, is serious they cannot help themselves addiction to pornography addiction to lust addiction to masturbation is a very terrible demon that you must help your child sons and daughters to stay away from it indecent dressing for young girls whereby they dress and all their ties are exposed spiritual marriage already a small girl walking this summer with mini skirt, mini. I'm talking about mini, mini. First, when they talk about mini, you say, oh, but today, the mini, the new generation, the mini, mini skirt. And I know that very soon, they will be coming around, I can't get married. People come around me and they disappear. Reverend K, pray and do deliverance on me. My husband is, because they are already spiritually married. But me, I'm just telling you the truth now, that stay away from this lifestyle or dressing code, or this modernized, pervert things. And you will save yourself from a lot of uh, problems. So the Bible says, 1 Corinthians 6, 18 verse 20, flee sexual immorality. Everything that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sin against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? So the Holy Spirit is in you. Now you begin to dress and you are half naked. The Holy Spirit is not going to abide in a half naked woman. Another spirit will take over. You may be praying in tongues, but another spirit will surely come and sleep with you at night and make it impossible for you to get married. I'm just telling you plain truth. I love you too much. I must tell you the truth. You may hate me, but I told you the truth. Don't come in later on and tell me, do deliverance when you knew the truth, which can make you free. <coughs> Whom you have, he says, your body is the temple of God. 
who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Then also Galatians 5 verse 16, the Bible says, I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. This go to all the men. Walk in the spirit. Oh, we see, we see. I'm not blind. I'm not an angel. You see. One time I went to a playground with my wife and kids. And another lady also came with his children and nakedness. Now, the whole place, I turned left, nakedness, right? Now to look up. And my wife was just laughing. Why? Because indecent dressing everywhere and you wanted i wanted to make sure i don't allow my eyes to sin against god job said one thing this is discipline this is you loving god so much fearing god so much that you don't want to displease god this one it is not pray for me it is not pray for me cast out any demon the bible says of joseph he feared god so much that he said, how can I sin against my God and dishonor my master by sleeping with his wife? So he fled. You have to come to a place whereby, you know what? I want to be serious and down with God and I don't want to play games anymore. I don't want to play games. And therefore I choose not to sin against God. I fear him too much. So whether my wife is present or my husband is present, I cannot do this. I fear God. Nobody's watching, but I fear God. Nobody's watching. I could click and watch and watch and watch and watch and have fun with myself. But I fear God. I don't fear my wife. I fear God. And I don't want God to be angry with me. And I don't want to play this hypocritical Christianity whereby people sin against God and say, I'm sorry. And then they'll sin and say, I'm, not, I'm sorry. And they'll sin, oh, God is merciful. And sin and God is merciful. You will never receive blessing from God because you are playing games and gimmicks with God. You are playing games and gimmicks with your Christianity. And so you consciously sin against God only to know that, oh, God is merciful. Oh, Lord, you know I did it again. Forgive me. Then you go and do it again. And Such people are going nowhere with their Christianity. But if you fear God, you reverence him and you want him to bless you and you want him to establish you and you want him to have a covenant with you and you want him to sustain you. When the devil comes to tempt you, you say, no, my wife is not around, but I can't do this. Nobody's watching me. I have my computer with me, but I can't watch this. Even though my eyes saw it, I take my eyes from it. Even if I have to close my eyes to click and delete it, I have to because I will not. There was a scripture. There's a scripture I'm trying to look for it. The Bible says of Job, Job made a covenant. Job made a covenant with his eye that he will not look at a woman, a young woman with lust. Job made a covenant with his eye. Job feared God, reverenced God, wanted to please God to the point that he told himself, I make a covenant with this eye of mine. Even though I'm the richest man in the East, even though I'm, I'm so influential and have power and have servants and people are always coming to me and I can take advantage, but I make a covenant with my eye that I will not last after a young maiden. That was Job making a covenant with his eye because he feared God. He loved God and he didn't want to displease God. So you think that God will give you double for your trouble? God will restore you like Job? You, you think it just came? The man was making right decision because he feared God and wanted to please God. What are the decisions? You go to the you go to the stores and you pick any dress, any dress, any dress, any indecent dress. You don't care. As long as your friends say, oh, it is cute, it is cute. And some of them are agents and witches who just want you to be married to a spirit husband. So oh, that's so cute. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's showing all your breasts. You know, the men will like, and you are following their lead. Whilst as a spirit-filled Holy Ghost child of God, you have to see some dress and say, you know what? I'm sorry. Now, many of the dress, 
the women have it is showing their breasts so now a decent woman who fears god will go back and buy another underwear which now covers your chest so that your breast will not be you will not be showing don't you know that there's a demon that sucks breast and after sucking the breast they inject into it cancer there's a spirit that's how some women, I'm not saying everybody, I'm saying some women are having a certain type of breast cancer because of this exposure of this breast. There are certain spirits, when they see your breast popping and being exposed, they just come in and suck the breast. After sucking it, they deposit cancer into it. The next minute, the doctors are telling you they are seeing some lumps, they are seeing some this, breast cancer, and they are taking people out. You tell people the truth, they are offended. Be offended, but I'm telling you the truth anyways. I'm telling you the truth anyways. May the Lord help us to be like Job who made a covenant with his eye. Can you tell yourself that, hey, certain dress, some of you have to go back to your wardrobe, your closet and trash certain dress. When you didn't know better, those are the dress you bought. You must trash it. This thing I'm telling you, 10 years ago, 12 years, 11 years ago, I didn't know this message. I didn't know this information. I didn't know what? This information. I didn't. So, I was ignorant. Recently, I saw a dress that my wife and I took. And I saw the dress and I said, what? What kind of dress is this? And my wife says, what? what? I'm surprised. And we say, oh, sorry. Wherever this dress was, it must be trashed. Even the picture we took, I became ashamed of the picture. That How can I be taking a picture with you with this dress? My wife agreed. And we knew that it was 10 to 12 years ago. We didn't know this. So it is Job 31 verse 1. Job 31 verse 1. Job, thank you very much for letting me know that scripture. Job 31 verse 1. Tell it to your husband. Tell it to your son. I'm talking, I'm talking about reality. There, there is temptations all around. You. There is temptations. Your husbands are going through temptation. Women are pushing themselves. One time, I'm sorry, I'm telling my, my pastor was telling me how one day a woman tried to seduce him. And what did the woman do? The woman decided to come to the, to, to, to the, uh, he was uh, the managing director of, uh, he was the, supervisor or the, the head of a department and the woman was coming for interview or something the woman de deliberately when she came in she went to the bathroom and when she went to the bathroom she took her brow her brow you know the brow that keeps you guys she took her brow so that she came back and her all her stuff was just and it was a conscious effort to seduce the man but she he feared god and knew it and said i'm sorry you have to leave Temptations are all around us. But do you fear God enough? The question, do you fear God enough? Or you want to play this hypocritical, jokes Christianity? We sin and we come and say, I'm sorry. We sin and we come and say, I'm sorry. You are joking. You are joking with demons. You are joking with your enemies. You are joking with witches. That's why you are not going anywhere with your life. Because you are saying, I'm sorry, and ne next thing, you go and fornicate again. You are saying, I'm sorry, and next day, after we finish, you are masturbating. Uh, we are sorry. And the next day, you are back into the same mess. You are like a dog who goes back to the vomit. It is like a, a pig. It doesn't matter how you, 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 you bath, you bathe a pig and keep it neat. It will go back to the muddy waters and make itself filthy. At a point in your life, you want to say, I want to be serious with God, serious with my life and experience legitimate blessing of God because I'm getting rid of certain things and certain friends and certain things out of my life. It's a conscious effort. I saw the picture and I was ashamed. After 10 years, I saw the picture. I said, my wife, I said, hey, take this, take this picture out of the album. Take it out. Tear, tear, tear it and trash it. We were ashamed. Why? Because we didn't know it. Why? Because it was the trad it was the fad. It was the norm. It was the tradition. It was the culture. And the people who were around us when we went to the park, everybody was dressing maybe the same. But today I knew that, no. That's why you see, 
when God is taking you to the next level, he will call you into deeper depth and higher height. It's not for everybody. The Bible says the deep call it for the deep. There are some people who will always be on the shallow end of Christianity. The shallow end. The shallow end. But those who want to do business must go to the depths of the sea. In the depths, that's where we see whales and we see sharks and we see dolphins. You don't see dolphins, whales and sharks at the, at the seashore. When God wants to take you to the deeper depth and reveal his purposes and his plan and make a covenant with you, he told Abraham, walk now, walk now before me and be holy. Walk now, walk now before me and be holy. And therefore I'm saying this message is not for everybody. And you are not supposed to judge everybody because some people, they are in their elementary Christianity. So, it's okay. They, they can slide with it dressing the way they are dressing. Probably they just got to know Jesus yesterday. And that's why they are still wearing their mini and exposing their breast. And, but they are going to be still having their problems in relationship. But for you, that God is saying, my daughter, you have been on the shallow waters for so long. I'm calling you to a deeper depth. So give up this dressing. Give up this behavior give up this relationship give up and come close come nigh to me come closer to me and i will have fellowship with you i believe god is calling somebody into a deeper debt and you will realize that when you begin to address your dressing and begin to fill yourself with the word of god and in prayer you will now have victory over the spirit husband the spirit wife your marriage will begin to be restored. I'm sorry to say, I'm very sorry to say this, and I see it every day, but many recent marriages are being initiated into the spirit with this lustful spirit already. Many marriages now. Because the spirit that controls the, this age, even the marriage dressing, the marriage dressing, the marriage dressing has a question mark. The marriage dressing. It doesn't matter whether unbelievers or believers. I've seen it everywhere. The marriage dressing. That is one thing we saw. The marriage dressing. They have already... Oh, the devil is wise. He has already set up a system whereby the, 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 the world is dictating to Christians that this is how wedding dress must be. And it must be patterned this way. You must dress this way so that this level will expose not knowing that they were so no wonder christian marriages are under attack by spiritual marriages but people are not seeing it through if you talk you are in tr trouble so let he who has ears let he or she who has discernment see that the antichrist is all around us it's all around us it's an it's now a system it is in the system my wife is able to go out and it's very difficult to find a decent dress unless you come with alteration you must now come up with something else to cover up because every dress is exposing why because those who are manufacturing the dressing itself they are into different spiritual organization that have been given the assignment to contaminate and to initiate the masses without their knowledge i went to a store to look for a dress as I'm picking the dress after I was done, going to pay, I realize that this company is being owned by witches. They, they are put it there, witches. I say, God, we are in trouble. Let he or she who has eyes, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. James chapter 1, 12 to 15. James chapter 1, 12 to 15. The Bible says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. Blessed are you. When you see temptation, seduction, lust, immorality, and endures it, you don't submit to it, you don't succumb to it. 
blessed are you who endures temptation. For when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised those who love him. When you are tempted and you resist the temptation and you do the right thing, the Lord will crown you with the crown of life for those who love him. Let no one say when he's tempted, I'm tempted by God. For God does not, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desire and enticed. And that's why every one of us, we know our personal weakness. If, if it was an alcoholic, alcoholism, you don't associate with your friends who drink. If it is indecent dressing, you don't associate with the kind of people who will always take you to the mall and tell you to pick those dress. Wherever your weakness is, you must find a healthy thing to replace it with and avoid those who will tempt you back into it. And as you and I make the conscious effort to just do the right thing, I believe God will help us and grant us the grace to overcome every temptation in the name of Jesus. I want you to join me right now in, the, in, in, in just a few minutes that God will help us. Before we pray, there's another point the Holy Spirit was telling me about. And that is for those of you whereby your spouses or your sons are into this grace will be sufficient. Please, I would advise you to get this book, Urgent Prayer for Urgent Prayers Against the Strong Man. And there are scriptures against addiction and there is also prayers against addiction. Urgent Prayers Against the Strong Man. It will help you. Or if you know somebody dealing with addiction, let them get this book and it will help them. In this book also, you will learn how to pray against the spirit of death. You pray. There are scriptures against the spirit of death and scriptures to overcome the, the prayers to uh, against the spirit of death. Scriptures against sicknesses and how to pray for your healing, especially for cancer. For cancer. In this book, you also get prayers against the back to sender, how to pray back to sender. Uh, prayers and also how to break yourself loose from ancestral spirit scriptures and prayers for fear against fear anxiety and depression scriptures to help you to pray for favor and grace and also to pray for salvation for your children and your spouse and also how to break satanic padlock a lot of people are their destinies have been padlocked so you will get a push a, 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 a part of deliverance from addiction um, it's called urgent prayers against the strong man urgent prayers against the strong man you can get it on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com we only carry it in kindle form and um, ebook form you can get it on our website www.freshfireprayer.com um, so once you purchase it we'll send it to your email and you can start reading it and um, enforce your deliverance in the name of Jesus. We thank God. Join us every uh, on Monday. Our next meeting is Monday. We meet every day except for Sunday. We meet every day except for Sunday. We meet at 11 p.m. Eastern Time U.S., 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. for those of you in Europe. Join us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel, KL Blessing. We have two YouTube channels, Fresh Fire Prayer Line and KL Blessing. Make sure you subscribe to both and so that it will be a blessing to you. And also subscribe to our Facebook channel, KL Blessing. For any donation to support the ministry, as you are being fed, as you are being blessed by the ministry, you can do so by going to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com and you can use the PayPal and the Zelle through the um, through the website www.freshfireprayer.com the Zelle information is there if you are using cash app it's fresh fire prayer fresh fire prayer one word fresh fire prayer as you send your donations may the lord continually bless you 
body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. We thank God. We thank God for coming through for you and your family and your loved ones. He who the sun set free is free indeed. Um, when, once you get a book, there are scriptures you will find that you will continue to read them and, and stand on your uh, on it to enforce your deliverance. And may the Lord help us all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our scripture reading for tomorrow is what? Please post it.